This week we are headed to Bosnia and Herzegovina and we are making one of my favorite recipes on the foreign fork to date. It's burek, which is lamb with onions wrapped up in a phyllo dough, um, topped with sesame seeds, and I can't wait to show it to you, seriously. So first we're gonna make the filling for our burek, which means that we're, we have two tablespoons of oil heating up in this pan, and I'm going to put one tablespoon of chopped garlic in here. And I'm gonna let this just cook up for a couple minutes, maybe two or three minutes until it turns fragrant. Then we're gonna add our onion, our lamb meat, and some seasonings. And we're gonna let it cook up until the meat is cooked all the way through. And that's what we're gonna fill our phyllo dough with. Our garlic is a sizzling, which means that it's time to add this one chopped onion. And I'm gonna let this cook in with the garlic until it turns translucent, which probably is about five or so minutes. And then after that, we're gonna add the meat. Mix this up so that the olive oil mixes in, the garlic and the onion can mix together. And we're gonna let them cook down until they, um, they're a little bit see-through and a little bit softer. I have one pound of organic lamb here, so I'm gonna put this in and use my spatula to break it up a little bit. We're gonna turn it into um, ground meat, so I'm gonna wanna break it up so that it can really cook down and crumble. And then we have some seasonings to add in here as well. So I have three quarters of a teaspoon of salt, one third of a teaspoon of black pepper, ground black pepper, <laughs> there we go one third of a teaspoon of allspice, and one half teaspoon of paprika. And I'm just gonna keep working this meat and mixing in those seasonings until everything is all combined with the onions and the garlic. And we're gonna let it cook until everything browns. Then, once everything is all the way cooked through, we're gonna wrap it up in that phyllo dough, but we're gonna wanna make sure that the meat isn't too hot because if it is, it'll melt the really thin, fine phyllo dough. So we're gonna put it in the freezer for like 10 minutes just to give it a little cool down. You can also um, put it in the fridge for 30 or so minutes um, and just make sure that everything cools down enough to put it in the phyllo dough. And from there, we're gonna wrap it up. Sarajevo, the current capital of Bosnia and Herzegovina, actually hosted the 1984 Winter Olympics. It's now time to assemble our burek. So I have some sheets of um, phyllo dough. I got these from the freezer section of the grocery store. Evidence that you have to be very careful when you're picking them up or else they're gonna rip. These are just really, really thin layers of puff pastry kind of. And um, like I said, you can find them in the freezer section of your grocery store, but what we're gonna do is take pieces of it and we're gonna lay them out. So you're gonna need nine sheets of phyllo dough total and you're gonna lay them out sh with the short ends touching one another. So we're gonna put them into one big long line, three in a row, and then we're gonna do three layers of three in a row. So I'm gonna lay out my third one so that we've completed our long line. So we have our three layers of our dough here. I also have heated up one half of a stick of butter and I just have this little brush and I'm gonna dip my brush in the butter and I'm gonna brush over this entire top layer with some butter. Make sure we lather this real, real good with some butter. It's so buttery when you bite into it and it tastes so good, especially from the ingredients of the phyllo dough and then this extra layer that we put on here. It is amazing. We should be good. So now I have this um, mixture that we made earlier on the stove. I made sure before I put it in the freezer to strain all the extra liquid out of it, um, just to make sure that it's not too runny or too watery. And now what I'm gonna do is put this mixture in one big long line across the whole long edge of this um, phyllo dough. So line it up against this whole big long edge here. And as you um, go to wrap it up, you might get some tears or any, something in the phyllo dough and that's totally okay. Um, it's, it's really thin and so it's going to tear, um, but just 
keep going. Once it starts to bake, it puffs up a little bit so you aren't able to see the tears in it as much and it ends up being okay. All right, I got a little bit of extra here, so I'm gonna make sure I put all my meat on. Okay. And then I'm just gonna shape it up, make sure that it's really compact and ready to go. Now this is the tricky part. I like to start on one edge and just really carefully try to fold it over. As you can see, it starts to crack. As you keep going, it ends up getting a lot easier, but you kind of gotta just power through. It's a tricky task, but you could do it. Okay, and there we go. Even though there are some cracks in the middle, by the time you roll it all up, it should be good. I am going to swing really carefully, swing this around right here so that I can put a piece of parchment paper down on one of my cookie sheets. And then what we're gonna do is take one end of this and start to really coil it up into like a, a snake-like figure here. And I'm gonna turn this. Phew, there we go. And we're gonna move this onto this parchment paper here. There we go, perfect. I also have one egg whisked up here. So I'm gonna take the same brush that we had earlier and brush it all over and put a little egg wash over the top. And this is gonna make sure that when it cooks up, it, it browns really nicely. And then I also have um, a container of sesame seeds here. I don't have a specific measurement for the sesame seeds, but you just want to sprinkle it on there enough to have a, a thin layer of sesame seeds over the whole top. My oven is heated up to 350 degrees, and I'm gonna cook this for about 20 to 30 minutes, and it's gonna start to bubble a little bit um, and really brown on the top, and that's when you know it's done. If you take a look over here, you will see why Bosnia and Herzegovina is nicknamed the heart-shaped land, and it's because if you look really closely at the shape of the country, it has a slight heart shape to it. You can tell that your burek is done cooking because you can see that it browns really beautifully on the top from that egg wash. And the way that you serve this is you take your knife and you cut it kind of like a pizza, so into triangular slices. So I'm gonna put one of these on my plate here. And you can see the, the levels of phyllo dough in between. It looks so good. And I'm gonna have a bite of it. I'm excited. <laughs> oh my goodness, I can't even get a good bite. Here we go. All right. Mm. It tastes so homey. This is such a good comfort food because it tastes so buttery and so just delicious. I can't even tell you guys. Um, this is definitely one that you're gonna wanna make. And when you do, I really wanna see in the comments what you thought of it because I'm so excited for you to try it. The full recipe is gonna be on my blog, www.foreignfork.com slash burek. And um, definitely try it and let me know what you think. So if you all are really liking these videos and you wanna see more of them, then remember to just hit the subscribe button down there and then that way you can make sure not to miss anything else.